Today is the big day. Today's the day I propose to Maria. They're finally getting married! They're finally getting married! I'm finally getting married! You must get married at the party! Or at least this episode. Hey guys, it's Color Forty back for more Harvest Moon 64. Oh, it's gonna snow tomorrow. How fun. <clears throat> I feel like it snows in winter a lot. Like, more than it rains in other seasons. Maybe that's just me, though. Anyhow, lots to do today. Alright, so our cow was sick last time, but Mary's feeling better. Yay. And there's Moda. How cute. Maria! So, hats off, or hats off, heads up. It has been a while since I have played this. Uh, I think a month has passed between this episode and the last one. So I'm a bit rusty. However, I just recently finished editing the last one I recorded, so I think I'm up to date on most of the stuff that's happened. I think my tur turnips will be fully grown today. Also, I don't think my chickens will lay eggs today because, well... I kind of couldn't feed them on the first day of winter. Alright, so I'm planning on proposing to Maria this episode, so I better get out the engagement ring. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, the blue feather. Hehehe. <laughs> blue feather, give it to your favorite girl. That pretty much sums it up. Except it has to be one of the five girls that you can actually marry. It's cold every day now. Please take care of yourself. Maria! Oh, That's so sweet of her. Alright. Still early. Ah, I'm gonna go fishing for a little bit, because I do need to catch something for my dog. Also, I learned I will not be able to visit Anne when she is sick, because Anne will only get sick on a Sunday, and that is when we are going to marry Maria. So, kind of stuck there. Alright, so now it's time for my favorite part of the game, or at least one of them. We get to go around showing the blue feather to anybody we want. Until we use it on an actual girl, it won't disappear. So, hey Doug, what do you think of this? Oh, why doesn't anyone bring anything to Anne? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's totally a picture of Anne on the wall, riding a horse. That's so cute. You're not that strong yet, don't overwork. Go get some sleep. Well, screw you! <laughs> that's rude. Granted, what I said was rude, too. Me and Karen are pretty close. Both of us say what we're thinking, so we don't hesitate with each other. I will not be showing that to Anne, because she'll actually accept it. Hey, Gray, check it out. Ooh. Oh, yeah? He doesn't seem very excited. Weird guy. <laughs> I did just basically propose to him, so yeah, I, that is pretty weird. Oh, sweet, another girl scene. The Anne Karen scene. Trouble's always brewing between you two. I envy you, Anne. You don't have any worries. What are you saying? I've got troubles too. For example, about Cliff. That lazy guy with the falcon? Not that one! <laughs> She's talking about the horse, apparently. Well, that's one of the examples of Anne and Karen being good friends. Hey, Kai, you in the basement? Kai is in the basement. Back home, we grew oranges. They're fruit, too, but completely different from grapes. So at first, I wasn't used to work here. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Kai, check it out. That's what you use to propose marriage in these parts. Oh, thank you for telling me that. That's actually a very helpful thing for an NPC to say. <laughs> What's happening in here? Hey, Gots. Why are you sh Why are you show me that? You're asking me for her hand in marriage? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. No, 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 no. no. I don't want to marry her. Hey. Oh, you're getting married? Who with? No, never mind. Not Karen, if that's what you're wondering. Hey. Whew, winter's so boring. The shop does so little business. Oh, you're going to propose? Good luck. Oh, thank you. 
A raffle will be held between the 25th and the 29th. I won't get to participate in it because somebody's not sowing me flowers. Oh, I totally forgot. In winter only, even if you have a greenhouse, only in winter do these get sold. Those are strawberry seeds. They have to be grown in a greenhouse. One pack costs 500G. They're incredibly expensive, but they are so worth it. It's 10,000G for 20, but they are the... I think they're the most expensive crop. Yeah, strawberries sell for 150G a piece. That's pretty amazing. We are going to be growing a lot of those, I think. Hey, Poppery. You did good this year. Let's try our best next year, too. I will not be proposing to Poppery, because I think that might waste our blue feather. Hey, May. When you learn how to read books, you can read signs, too. Yes, you've told me this. Check it out, May. Ooh, pretty. I know that I can get it when I grow up. I want to grow up fast. <laughs> oh, she's looking forward to that. But you're still too young, kiddo. Hey, dude. What is it? I want to know how to raise cows, though. Uh, two completely unrelated things. Okay. See ya. I still can only read a little. Check it out, dude. What's that? The kids are kind of a... May knows about it, but the boys do not. I call it study, but I only teach the basics. Is it good enough? You look like you could use a cheer-up. Good luck! Oh, thank you, Pastor Brown. That is very kind of you. Alright, who else can I go see? Boo -boo 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 -boo. Hi, Ellie. I'd love to get fresh milk and eggs. Well, I'm not proposing to you. In the winter, it's cold outside, and just as you enter the house, steam wraps around your body. I like such moments. Hey, dude. Huh? You surprised me. I thought you'd proposed. Okay, well, good luck. <laughs> uh, s s sorry, Jeff. Nope, not proposing to you. I was just showing it off. Hey, Ellie's grandma. Winter's so cold and dark, I can't help feeling lonely, but there's plenty of chances to talk with people. Like this? Are you going to give the feather to Ellie? Or to another girl? Another girl. Sorry, Ellie's awesome and all, but... She, she doesn't hold the candle to Maria. Hey, dude, don't work too hard. Thanks. Will you marry me for that? Not really. Blue feather, that brings back memories. Oh, looks like Gimli has seen some stuff. Hey, Rick, you sold me this. You bought it without knowing how to use it? Well, just give it to your favorite girl. You could tell people that it's an engagement ring. I think it would be interesting if in one of the Harvest Moon games... Um, <laughs> it was actually, like, an engagement ring, not the blue feather. Hey, the mayor. Ooh, is that so? Keep working hard. Oh. I like the mayor's reaction in, um... Oh, no. We can't see Maria's confession scene. Because she's not in the freaking library. No! Doggone it. Um, hi, the mayor's wife. What's up? Winter is severe and depressing, but if not for winter, we would not cherish the spring, right? Hey lady, what up? Hey, that's what we used to propose in this region. Good luck. <laughs> Wanna talk to my girl? Hey, Maria. Winter is cold and I feel invigorated. Maybe it's also because it's the end of the year. Maybe. I have a cabbage. Thank you very much. I like cabbage very much. Darn it, I forgot because the winter... The, ah, the library's closed! Okay, this playthrough did not go quite according to plan, but that's okay. No use crying over spilled milk. I can post a link to it anyways. We live on vegetables we grow. Yeah, that's true. A blue feather? You're finally going to propose! Good luck! What do you mean, finally? I haven't even been here a whole year. If I got married less than, like, a year after I came to this town, knowing nobody, that would kind of be a shotgun wedding, don't you think? <laughs> when you do that, you look just like your grandpappy. You are grandpappy. Ah, uh, no, I am not grandpappy. Shouldn't you be getting married soon? Dude, I've been here less than a year! 
I don't get all this. Yeah. That made no sense. I don't. I don't get people where it's like. Ugh. It's like, you've been dating for, like, six months. Aren't you getting married soon? It's like, no, we've been dating for six months. Hey, Karen. I wonder if my mother's really happy at her marriage. Hey, Head Carpenter. The river around here never floods because of heavy rain, so we can live peacefully. Hey, dude, will you marry me for saying that? Not really. It's one of the big questions of life. Don't be influenced by other people's opinions. Um... Okay. Hey, the Harvest Sprite. The ore mine back here is open during the winter. I heard you can dig out various rare things. Yeah, but that doesn't open till the 8th. Check it out, dude. Say, that's for proposing marriage, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. It's so quiet when night falls in winter. Well, bummer. This did not go according to plan. My plan was to see Maria's confession scene before proposing. But that's not actually going to work out. So... Bother. I guess I'll just propose to her tomorrow. Alright, today is the big day. Man, it's going to snow tomorrow too? Come on! I just realized I didn't milk my cow yesterday. How dumb can you get? Oh, also, one thing I totally forgot to do... Last episode was show off the Ann photo. A rabbit in winter. Aw, that's cute. That is less cute. Come on, dog. How are you not potty trained by now? Alright, now my turnips have grown. That's what they look like. Turnips are... Not great, I'll just say that. They only sell for 70g apiece. And they're going to take forever to grow, so fortunately you guys don't have to watch that. Some 10 or 15 minutes later, we're back. Unfortunately, now we have to plant all of our stuff. It is Wednesday today, excellent. Alright, I will not be planting more turnips. No, I will be planting potatoes. Ooh, ooh, I just realized one other thing we can do now that it's winter. Uh, you'll, you, you guys will see what that's all about when we get to Moon Mountain, but it's something that is very, very interesting. I'm sure you're all like, but colorful Artie, what are you going to do with that giant hammer of yours? Well, I think you'll all be very interested to see what I'm about to do. So in winter, this pond is actually frozen, and we can walk on it. See this giant rock there? If we have the golden hammer... Clam! And we get a power nut. Sweet! Hey, old man, hey, lady, I have a turnip for you. Oh, thank you! Do you like pickles? Um, uh, I mean, I don't have cucumbers. Cucumbers are better. You should try making them. I'll teach you. And we get the pickled turnips and cabbage recipe. Ew. Gross. But thanks. Oh, uh, the color farm. Doing fine, huh? Good. Oh, nice. Maria's not even here. Am I not going to be able to propose to her today, Ivor? I need to propose before the end of the week. Darn it. Maybe she's in the church. She In winter, she is occasionally inside the church playing the organ. Yes, she is here! Okay, Pastor Brown, can you give us a little privacy, please? Hey, Maria. I like the snow. It's beautiful and so peaceful. Hey, Maria. I've gotten to know you pretty well over the last year. You're awesome. Super sweet. Have a great heart. You're really stinking cute. And I'm madly in love with you. Will you marry me? Th thank you very much. If you're okay with me, I, I'm, I'd be happy. Aw, yeah! We just proposed to the girl of our dreams! Yeah! Man, that feels good. I have no experience proposing in real life, but I am sure it is a fantastic feeling. Woo! 
I'm sure it's also terrifying at the beginning, but like when she says yes, that's that, there's got to be hardly any good feeling in the world greater than that. Big fish. Can I catch a power nut? If I caught a power nut, that would be great. I only have a small handful of power nuts left to get in the game, actually. Like, I have to fish the one out of the ocean, there's one in the mine when it opens up, and then there's one that Basil gives you when he comes back, if you're good friends with him. I kind of have pretty much all the strength I'll need now, except maybe for uh, the mine. The mine does take a lot of energy, but... Oh, I just realized I could have given the turnip to the mayor's wife. Because she gives you a recipe as well, but that's okay. The girl in my dreams said yes, and that's all that really matters. Good night, everybody! Oh yeah, these two! Thank you very much. We'll never forget your kindness. Say goodbye to the nice man, dear. Goodbye. They are the people whose we were whose cows we were looking after. Miss Mana and her son. I should have gone to the bar, because she's there. Good job. This is for your help. I'll ask you again when something comes up. Oh yay, we did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> They were, okay, so backstory on that, they were supposed to come to my farm on the first day of winter right before Anne did, but because my baby bed was completed, the carpenters came instead. I did not touch that control stick. So now we got our own cows, and that's it, which means I'm going to go on a cow buying spree. Oh darn it, I can't buy a cow today, it's Thursday. Alright, tomorrow I'm going on a cow buying spree and getting more chicken feed. Yeah, but I totally forgot Miss Mana. She actually does appear in the bar if you go at night, which I should have done. I regret not doing that, but it's not too important. She's a very, very minor character. Like, she, she literally now has disappeared from the game forever, unless I start a new folder. I do wish after you proposed to a girl that they'd have slightly different dialogue, but they don't. Hey, the mayor's wife, soon to be mother-in-law, have a turnip. Wow, what a big turnip. It looks yummy. Thank you. I'll give you good turnip recipe. That I, I commend you on your grammar there. Got the cream of turnip stew recipe. On Donner, on Blitzen. I've known her for a long time, so it's hard to say. I can take the cold because I was born in winter. Oh, that's right, Karen's birthday is actually in the winter. So this month's events, we have the Thanksgiving Festival on the 10th, the Dog Race on the 19th, the Star Night Festival on the 24th, the Spirit Festival on the 27th, and the, what's not shown, the New Year's Eve Festival, which is, I think, on the 30th. Yeah, winter is the season for festivals. Oh, it's cold these days. We should warm ourselves up from the inside. With alcohol? I don't, I don't think so. No, 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 no. The dog race will be held on the 19th of winter. We'll accept applications on the 18th. The Green Farm News. Okay, I'm not entering my dog this year. My dog, I have completely ignored for the first half of the entire year. 74, please. And I'd also like a cow. I wonder what would happen if I bought a chicken, because I have no room in my chicken coop. Also, you'd have to be an idiot to buy more than one chicken. I'm sorry, but you, you just would have to be. Keep it in a shack, name it and care for it. Clarabelle won't fit on, but Clara will. Now my question is, can I buy a second cow today? I would love to buy a second cow. 
Oh, we're closed! What? That is a lot of baloney. You are not closing. Convenient way to make it so you can only buy one animal a day. Hey everybody, my bachelor party's now. This is the best way to relax after a hard day. What do you mean a h- Oh yes, your day was so hard. You had to take a cow to my farm. Aw, oh, Harris is still depressed. What do you think about Ellie? Dude, I'm getting married in two days! That should tell you something. <laughs> Come on. I've known her for a long time. Yeah, you're still mulling over this, dude? Come on. Don't marry her until I've seen your events, okay? If you want to raise crops in the winter, you'll need to build a greenhouse. Dude, have you seen my farm recently? I have that. Winter's boring. The land looks lonely and people look tired. I don't understand what people are thinking, so I can't help feeling uneasy. The closer I get to people, the worse it gets. Aw, poor Cliff. I'm here for you, buddy. If she were a boy, I wouldn't care what she was doing in some faraway place. But she's a girl, and she's beautiful like her mother. I worry about strange men, but she doesn't understand at all. Oh, You're a good guy, Gots. You're a good guy too, Regis Philbin. Who wants to be a millionaire just wasn't the same when you left, and Meredith What's-Her-Face took over. Nothing against Meredith What's-Her-Face, but... I mean, it's, it's hard to top Regis. Tomorrow is my last day as a bachelor. Last day as a bachelor, engage! Oh, yay! Of course it's gonna be sunny for my wedding, because how, why couldn't it, how could it not be sunny for my wedding? Hi there. Oh, hi, Karen. What's up? Good morning. Hey, we finished making the wine. Some is still being aged, but this is the first wine of the year. Try it. Huh. Okay. Good, isn't it? It's totally different from before. This might even become as good as Grandma's wine. See you. You do know I'm getting married tomorrow, right? D did you not get this memo? The ore mine will be open to the public. There is a reception desk in the mountain cave. That will happen tomorrow. Alright, now that that has happened, now that Karen has given us the new wine, we can trigger her and Kai's last scene, if it stops snowing eventually. The proper way to milk a cow is to milk its face, apparently. Yeah, medium milk! Ah, oh, I feel like I'm top of the world. Well, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since San isn't even sick, buy a cow, buy a cow, buy a cow. I know that didn't rhyme, but it's funny. And at this point, I should probably start to save my money a bit because I do want quite a bit of gold, roughly around 30,000 in time for the dog race. Considering I have a greenhouse, I don't think that'll be a problem, but you never know. He's going to be waiting at my farm with that cow for a while, because I am not stopping going fishing just because of him. Hi, this is where we give the children their schooling Mondays for Fridays. We're closed on Saturdays, and people pray here on Sundays. Who do they pray to? Because clearly I have been proven that this is not Christianity in this town. When the ground is covered in the snow, it becomes so bright outside. I heard that people in the old days read books with this light. Um, only in daylight. Okay, thankfully Maria's not going to be mentioning the li visiting the library between jobs anymore. <laughs> She'll finally get new dialogue. Oh wait, um, hang on. I... Okay, okay, I'll keep it in the shack. I'll name for it and care for it. Never fear. Come on. People saw this coming. Clara and Belle. Clara Belle. Hey, everybody. Hey, where did the food go? I put food in there. 
I'm so excited that we finally get married. See you guys there. So we go to sleep and... Oh, it's precious. We're in a tuxedo, but we still have our hat. And wow, who are you and what have you done with Maria? It's so cute. Yeah, Maria looks totally different for her wedding day. No glasses, her hair is completely changed. Aww, oh, that scene is always cute. Every wedding you have is adorable. But I do really like that one. Married with Maria on the eighth day of the season of winter. And now Maria's in our house with us. Hi! Um, good morning, uh, honey. I hope I, I can be a good wife. Yes, you'll be the best. Today is a perfect day for doing the laundry. Hope you don't mind our dog is in the house. It's our dog now. Shh, sh good baby. Um. Okay, yeah. Full disclosure, I'm not sure if this is just after you get married or if it's in general, but when you show your people your dog, like, they always act like it's your baby. It happens for Maria, it happens for Ellie's grandma. It, it's just so weird. Oh, yeah, but it, it provides laughs. So now we're married! This is awesome. And I have refrigerated cabbages for you. Here you go, honey. Thank you very much. She still says that, though. Well, I'll have to do my chores. Yoo-hoo, brother! What's up? Tomorrow is the Thanksgiving festival, right? If you get some cakes, share them with me, okay? Don't you know the Thanksgiving festival? It's the day girls give guys cakes. I don't think that's the... I don't think that's true. See, uh... I'm pretty sure Thanksgiving, you know, it's about giving thanks. Hello. Um, oh, hi. Hi, Ellie. You do know I got married, right? Excuse me, I'd like to buy some eggs. Tomorrow's the Thanksgiving festival, right? I'm baking a lot of cakes and I don't have enough eggs. Can I get six eggs? So, regardless of what you say here, she will give you the money. So if you say, thank you, here's your money, I can take them back myself. Yeah, if you say, like, oh, you can take them, she's like, no, 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 you have to make an income, I'll, I'm paying you. Well, I'll come by again, okay? Again? I'm married? It's, 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 it's a little weird. It's a little weird. We'll send you a souvenir picture and look forward to your actions in the future. Congratulations on your wedding, Dad. Well, that was very nice of Dwight Schrute to send me that. Seriously, your dad is totally Dwight Schrute in this. But we get the wedding photo, and it is probably the cutest photo you get. Wedding ceremony in front of the church. Oh, it's so precious! You've got Jack blushing, and you've got Maria just being incredibly beautiful. That is, like, the only time in the game she does not wear her glasses. Either she could not see at that wedding, she couldn't see well at the wedding, or she was wearing contacts. Which, to be honest, I totally get why people don't wear contacts. Because, for me, I have 20-20 eyesight, so I can't relate to this, but the entire concept of contact lenses totally freaked me out. The fact that they're, like, literally touching your eyelids at all times. Hmm. But honestly, LASIK surgery freaks me out even more. So, I'm just happy I have perfect eyes for now. As you can see, because Ellie dropped by and bought our eggs, our chickens did not lay eggs today. Or rather they did, it's just Ellie took them. But we got paid for them anyways. So I guess that means eggs cost 50G a piece. Because I, we charged her 300 for them. Alright, so my plan, the dog race is on the 19th. My potatoes will be ready tomorrow. I'm going to plant my strawberry seeds. They will grow before the dog race, and I will get paid a ridiculous amount of money for them. Oh. So one cool thing we can do today now is go to the mine. And this is where you want to spend most of your winters. Because the mine is like the only place where you can actually quote-unquote forage stuff. Now, it's not as cool as the one in Mineral Friends of Mineral Town, but the mine's still pretty nice. 
Hey, how about some digging? Once you go in, you can't come out until 5 o'clock or until you run out of strength. But you might find some buried treasure. Oh, and you can't do anything without a hoe, so be careful. So I'm gonna go in. Okay, good luck. Oh, and Rick's here. So basically you can dig around and look for treasure. <sighs> I'm so tired, I can't move. What have you even been doing? And we picked up a coin. I believe that is literally just worth 1G. Oh, and we get a Moonlight Stone! You remember, those were inside the Firefly Lights. So if you're lucky, you can actually unearth a hole that'll take you deeper into the mine. And it's deeper into the mine where you find the rarer stuff. Like the Power Nut. Of course, if you're playing on an emulator like me, safe states really come in handy for the mine. But I'm not gonna use them just yet. Okay, this is really bad luck. This is really bad luck in the mine. We've only found, like, a few things. And Moonlight Stones are not even that great. I want to find the hole. Coins are not that valuable, come on! Um... Okay. Yeah, as you can see, the collision detection on the hoe is not exactly amazing. What did I pick up? Uh, just a coin, of course. And, yep, we're about to collapse! Cool! I guess you can't do anything if you're too tired to use the hoe. Go home and get some rest. I will. Oh, shoot, it's snowing today, isn't it? Oh, darn it, I could get sick. I won't let that happen. I won't let that happen. I will go to... Uh, I could go to the potion shop. No, or yeah, I could. I could go to the potion shop dealer. It is Monday. I think I will do that. Move it, Harris. I'm, I'm getting sick. I gotta get me a potion. And I even have an empty bottle with me. Oh, that's a cure-all. It's a bit pricey at- WHAT?! <laughs> what a Don't depend on drugs. Everything will be fine if you go to bed early. Oh, really? Oh, cool. He's actually talking me out of buying stuff from him. Also, don't depend on drugs. It could just be a life model. That's a vitamin to relieve fatigue. It's not very strong, but it can prevent you from catching a cold. The price is a thousand. That's the one I need. Watch your health. Bottle containing a vitamin preparation. Why is it yellow? Thank you, the potion shop dealer. That's probably the only time I will use your services. Do 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 Hi! Honey, don't work too hard. I'm sorry, I did work too hard, but it's okay because I got some mashed up like parsnip in a uh, a bottle. They called it drugs. I bought them and I drank them. And man, it has been like a week since I went to the bathroom. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That door can be really hard to open. Taking a bath is a nice way to relieve fatigue as well. Here's the thing, when you're married, you want to go to bed at around 9 o'clock, because that's when your wife goes to bed, and it's very adorable to go to bed together. So a lot of people think that once you get married, the game becomes like really, really boring and routine, and there's not a whole lot of point in continuing playing. I myself felt that way too, but there is still a lot of stuff we need to uh, see in the game. Welcome home, honey. Aw, oh, thank you. By the way, your ponytail's awesome. Not sure if I've ever told you that. Actually, we have almost all the recipes at this point. Let's see, we got one, two, three off the top of my head I can think of. Actually, another three there. Yeah, I think I know all the recipes that we have left to get. Most of them require milk or strawberries. 
do, 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 do. It's the amazing silent tap dancing horse. Oh, what am I doing with my life? I was so normal before I started Let's Playing. Well, I can't really say normal, but I, I wasn't this weird. Alright, it's like 9 o'clock. Our wife is waiting for us to go to bed. And this is our new normal. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you enjoy this episode. This is probably the sweetest episode we've done. Tune in next time. We'll be mining some more. We'll be living the married life. And yeah, you know, the usual. And shoot. Forgot to buy another cow today, but that's okay. I, I am okay with that. I'm okay with my life decisions. Anyhow, have a great day, and God bless.